and committed to presenting the whole council of God's works. We have reached the advanced opinion of God, and the hearts of individuals have got a truth without the opinion and tradition of man. We pray that our pastor has will inspire you to greater fellowship and intimacy with God. Now, here's the first broadcast. If you have your Bibles with you, go with me to 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5. And I want to begin on a series of teachings on the subject of spirit, soul, and body. And uh, I want to say that there's a lot of information concerning this. There's so much that I'm having trouble as a minister to know what to get into and how to divide the things out and when to bring the things uh, to your attention that need to be brought to your attention. Um, but I want to say this concerning spirit, soul, and body, that it's a foundational system that I believe if you get a hold of it, it will change your life. It changed me, my ideas of who God is, what God is, and how he relates to us was dramatically changed in my understanding of the spirit, the soul, and the body. You are created as a triune being, just like the Godhead is made up of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. You and I were created, the Bible says in the book of Genesis, God said, let us create man in our image and in our likeness. So the image has to do with the outside external part of us. The likeness has to do with the inside of us. And there's two parts to your inside, your spirit and your soul. Those are sides that you can't necessarily see from the outside. So spirit, soul, and body is a foundational teaching. And it's the foundation of a, of a lot of the teachings that we have here at Beacon of Truth. One of the uh, uh, slogans that we pulled from the Word of God concerning this ministry and this church is that with the help of God and by the grace of God and by the unction of the Holy Spirit, we have determined to declare unto you the whole counsel of God. That's found in Acts chapter 20, verse 27. Now, obviously, I probably won't get there today, right? That takes a lifetime of teaching and preaching, and the further that I get into the things of God, the more I see that I probably won't even get there in this lifetime. But we have determined, as the Holy Spirit puts things in our heart, not to avoid those subjects just because they're controversial, or just because some other groups may not believe that way or agree that way. We are going to declare the whole counsel of God's Word. We're going to preach holiness. We're going to preach righteousness. We're going to preach the power of the Holy Spirit and the baptism of the Holy Spirit and that the gifts of the Holy Spirit are today. They're not just for the old ministry. And so we'll find a vast amount of different variety of teachings uh, that we've already uh, taught on here but are going to teach on in the future. But I want to say this, that the foundation to many of those teachings is what I'm going to be getting into over the next number of teachings. This subject of the spirit, soul, and body is something you want to get a hold of because it is so foundational to the Christian life. Now, there's three groups of Christians. Let me say this concerning a foundation where you can have a house. It looks great on the outside, great on the structure, but if the foundation wasn't built right, that house is in danger of being able to stand and weather the storm. Uh, the foundation is just as important as the house itself. And so this is a foundational teaching that you want to get your head around. Well, you know what it means to get your head around something? My uh, grandpa used to tell me when I didn't behave myself that he was just put my head between my ears. I was about six years old, and I thought that was the scariest thing somebody could ever tell you. Then I realized my head was between my ears, and probably Grandpa wasn't going to do too much. Now, when the Lord looks down, I've heard it once said, by popular preaching, he's going to take it on stage. 